From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big evening of Evenings LA with incredible great news about your fourth stimulus check date of 2022. With breaking details on the big checks, $80,000 of those checks, going live and starting to pay out in every state of the country. We'll go over those incredible checks that are now live, and then we'll be turning to the sixth stimulus package, happening at the same time as fourth and third. Yes, third is still paying out big checks to viewers of this channel, and tonight the success stories keep on coming in at $10,000. Viewers are getting from watching Evenings LA in prime time. But six stimulus heating up as well. All the latest details on that major, major piece of legislation caused by the acts of Vladimir Putin and the oil shortage growing nationwide and internationally. The major developing details tonight is six stimulus will be happening. And there's a new concern and may be fueled by not the concern about oil and wheat, but also the banking industry. Meantime, what's happening with the Build Back Better app? It's going to the finish line. And the latest details on those checks is deliciousness. Then we'll be looking at the big money of the incredible third stimulus. And what's the update on SS300? Major developing details overnight. As some analysts believe that the inflationary rate is actually higher than 8%. Are they right? Are the latest details in tonight's recording? Then we turn back to what's happening with Vladimir Putin and with his threats to cut off gasoline to Germany could send us into a tailspin. But is United Arab Emirates ready with a win to save us? And what about West Texas? What are they doing or is their gasoline a little bit too fancy? And then what about that threat of recession and inflation? It's a big night with a lot of big money, and from the shores of Santa Monica, California, I invite you to stay with me to the very end, because we have a lot of checks in tonight's recording, including $80,000 of them for you. It's for stimulus, and it's paying out. The excitement starts right now with those incredible checks on evenings, Ally Light, direct from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Well, here we are on another night of breaking news in a one-hour special broadcast. It's Evenings Out Light with the huge news of those $80,000 of checks now paying in states across the country. This is everywhere, and you're going to hear it only in prime time with Ally Light. But major developing details is a deal in the works to get gasoline to those partner countries. This would solve the solutions of a potential recession. Or is it something merely just a dog and pony show? What did the White House say overnight? And why is West Texas gasoline a little bit too fancy? And what about the new inflationary worries and the new recessionary numbers? Meantime, what is Vladimir Putin's latest move and why could that send us into a tailspin economically back at home? And with Jetgate no longer at issue nor taking off, what about your money? Well, $80,000 are going out. And in tonight's recording, we're going to go over those $80,000 of four stimulus checks that have started to pay out in every single state of the United States of America. Meantime, we'll look at the situation of the Baltic states. This could be the next battleground for Vladimir Putin and his acts of aggression. Boy, we have a big recording tonight. I'm excited you're here. But first, we're going to start with the Build Back Better Act. The fourth stimulus recon has three clauses of checks and three add-ons. And they're all going to the finish line, says the President of the United States in a new series of comments. $15,000 of checks with those first cluster of checks heating up with hazard pay. Hazard pay got in there and is staying in there for my essential workers. One more year of the earned income tax credit. Under third stimulus broadened, but continued under fourth stimulus. $4,000 of elder care got in there. 
Then in that first cluster, they also got in there the Pell Grant checks for my college students, the $12,500 for the purchase of a new electric vehicle, and then the home repairs if you live in a low-income community, plus also money for nutrition. This is the Build Back Better Act, the, fourth, the first of three clusters of checks and three add-ons. The first add-on comes from Maxine Waters, $25,000 for the purchase of your first home. This is money that would be given to the seller by the federal government at the time of escrow in your name. And it's huge, and it's for the purchase of your first home. Now, that sets up the question mark of the second cluster of checks, where we find even more money for you as well. In that second cluster of checks, we have in there the home repairs to weatherize your home and the paid leave. Paid leave is if you have to stay home due to sickness or illness. W-2, 1099, you get it. And if your son or daughter works and they have to take you to the doctor, they get as well. How much money is this? It's a lot of money. $1,700 a week if you make $70,000 more per year. And if you make thirty five dollars or fifteen, dollars you just split it in half across the board or quarter it. There you go. And that is paid leave, the second of three clauses of checks in this incredible Build Back Better Act that the President of the United States brings up in a new series of interviews this week. Also mentioned last week in the State of the Union address. The second add-on of checks comes from Bob Casey. $250 billion of free home health care for seniors and people on disability got it in there. Which teases up then for the third cluster of checks, true deliciousness. Seniors and free internet for all checks, farmers checks, and then checks for independent contractors. But the seniors cleaning up with dental checks, vision checks hearing checks, lowering the eligibility age of Medicare from 65 to 55, and also the Medicaid gap fix, which will provide a workaround plan to 12 Republican states that vowed to never provide insurance to low-income uninsured people. Got it in there, and there you rock it all roll. Which teases up for the third add-on of checks, and you know what that one is. Oh boy, is it incredible. It is, of course, those incredible MSCs. MSC is a monthly IRS stimulus check that would go out to you if you got a third stimulus check, says the legislators of the viewership of this channel. Single individuals, seventy-five thousand less, you get it. Married couple, one hundred fifty thousand less, you get it. Double it. Family four, you get it as well. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, or railroad benefits, you get it as well. It is not income. It's not taxable. It goes nationwide. It is not state stimulus. And it goes off that most recent tax return. So that tax return had direct deposit. That's how you get paid otherwise in the mail. $2,000 the first month, $1,000 thereafter. Across the board, adult dependents would also get it. The importance of that MSC is one of many checks that would be added to the fourth stimulus recon that already has upwards of fifty dollars to $60,000 of checks. But one round of checks, which I call fourth stimulus add-on checks or fourth stimulus ancillary checks, are live. They're paying out, and they started paying out on Monday. Monday, these checks started paying out, and it's $80,000 of them. If you're looking at this map and you're wondering what is the color means, don't worry about the color wheel because ultimately the color wheel stops in your state. Every state will be paying those fifteen dollars to $80,000 of checks in a new program you only hear on L8. Debuted last Friday when announced by the White House. And tonight I have more details of these incredible checks. Again, these are fifteen dollars to $80,000. Eligibility just like a third and offered in every single state of the United States of America. It's coming up in just a second later in this recording. It's a force and must lay add on. But first, let's start with what happened overnight. CR for stimulus. Well, they got that CR done. Congressional leaders overnight passed a continuing resolution. That continuing resolution became law and it now funds the federal government through September of this year. Did they get a federal stimulus check in there? They did not. But did they get state or local stimulus in there? They did. This is where it gets fascinating. In 2020, I came up with the idea of putting stimulus for citizens in a continued resolution. It be made history as millions of Americans got a $600 stimulus check because of my creation of CR for stimulus in 2020. 
at the time I said put a check in there and people said doesn't belong in there because continuing resolutions don't have stimulus for citizens in there. Well, what happened overnight? Overnight, it looks like legislators may have been watching this channel because guess what? For the first time in 10 years, legislators passed a continuing resolution that has county, yes, you heard me right, county stimulus in there. The legislation, the continuing resolution, will, as now law, has county by county stimulus across the board. How do you learn about it? Reach out to your local county news, and they feature it, especially if you're in Georgia. A lot of programs got in there, and this is why Purple Power pushes. In 2020, we got a $600 stimulus check in there. Tonight, millions of districts across, uh, countless districts across the country have county stimulus in that CR. More about that later in this recording, but first, let's turn to the breaking developing details about SS300. And what happened today that is really surprising. What is SS300? This is Joe Biden's campaign promise and Joe Biden's platform of present to replace COLA as your benchmark for benefits and use inflation. That would raise your benefits up about $200 right now and about $100 later this year. We call it on this channel SS300 or SS200. What happened overnight? What happened overnight is new indicators suggest that inflation may actually be higher than thought the day before. Whoa, this is good news for you if you're on benefits because remember, if Joe Biden makes the phone call and swaps out your color for inflation today, you lock in the highest inflation rate of a generation. And remember, once your benefits go up, they never go down. The inflationary number released on Thursday morning on Morning's LA live on air was the CPI number for the month of January. And what was it? I predicted it would be 8%. I got it right. It came at 7.9%. But what was the breaking news today? The breaking news today was that Wall Street analysts think that the inflation rate may actually be even higher this month. And that is why the 10-year Treasury yield surged today dramatically. The 10-year Treasury note surged one basis point to 2% plus on belief that perhaps inflation is here to stay and is not going down, at least for the month of March. If you're at the supermarket buying bread or eggs or milk and you see it going up, you see inflation before even I can report it. Now, ironically, the 30-year Treasury note went down. This is inversion. So what does the analysts think? Thanos Papalavos, founder and chief investment officer at ABP Invest today, says inflation is here to stay. It's not going away. A little catchy, isn't it? He said that inflation rates, conflation is causing rates to continue to rise. That is a risk that inflation is not going away. How does this translate to you? It translates to you that if Joe Biden made the phone call today to swap out COLA for inflation, you'd lock in 8%. If Joe made the phone call in April, you'd lock in 8%. If Joe made the phone call in May, would you lock in that 8%? This is where it gets interesting. Jay Powell is your Fed chair. His job is to reduce inflation. And in the FOMC meeting coming up in just a few days, Jay Powell will do a quarter basis point. Why? Because he's already told us. Quarter basis point is a reduced inflation, but that quarter basis point is the lesser of two evils. The stronger would be a half basis point. He's not doing that, he's already said. So what about for the month of April? He said, I'm staying at a quarter for March until I know if I had to do more. Does he need to do more? Well, <laughs> here we go. Tonight, the situation is that perhaps by April, he may have to do more. Number one, the 10-year Treasury note indicating that perhaps inflation is actually worse this month than it was in the month of January. Ooh, number one. Number two, that the European Central bank equivalent of Jay Powell, Christine Lagarde, said yesterday, uh, I'm going to come in stronger than many Wall Street or European economic analysts think I should because I think inflation is a little bit stronger than it is. Well, Jay Powell, if he's reading the tea leaves, if you're reading the tea leaves as well, said, may think that he may have to come in a little bit stronger in the month of April. Again, why is this good news for you? Because inflation is tracking as high as it was now or higher than the month before, says the new economic data tonight. So if Joe Biden makes the phone call today in the month of March, 
March 12, March 11th, 2022, or makes a phone call on April 11th, then you're fine. If he makes a phone call in May 11th, we don't know just yet. Because remember, you want to lock in that higher inflation rate for your benefits. Once your benefits go up, you lock it in. You never go down. Even if Jay Powell reduces inflation thereafter, you're locked in at the higher rate. Later this year, inflation will go down as Jay Powell reduces it. And as inflation goes down, then it likely dropped to about 4%. But you want to rock in this higher inflation rate right now. That would be $200 now. And then later this year, when it goes down, then you lock in about another $100 if inflation is about 4% by December. Huge details across the board. But the huge details is a map. <laughs> and a map to some money. And you don't have to go anywhere to get that money because it's everywhere. Last night, when this broadcast aired, America's most watched show in prime time at Evening to LA, there was a pink meltdown. <laughs> there are people in the live chat. There are people on social media say, oh my goodness, the world is ending. I'm in a pink state. No, that's actually a good thing. Now let's go over what pink means, what green means, what teal means. It means you're getting money. How about gray? You're getting money as well. So is anywhere where you're not getting money? No. Here's what you need to know. Every state has these 15 to $80,000 of stimulus checks, which we call for a stimulus add-on. It's the homeowner's grant, and it's everywhere. So later in this recording, we're going to go over why you should not wear if you're in a pink state. And last night, the worries were abound. People sending me messages. I'm in Ohio. Ohio's no money. That's pink. They left us out again, and we're always left out. No. In fact, Ohio had the application go live tonight. Tonight, I will show you what you need to do to get this incredible sums of money. It's $80,000 of it. And we're going to look back over the last two years of this channel and why I've always shown you how to get money before anyone else and why when we talk about these $80,000 of checks, it shows you how you have to get them before anyone else talks about them. Then we'll be looking at the situation for oil gas. Really very surprising situation tonight. Is United Arab Emirates coming to the rescue or not? Is Iraq coming to the rescue or not? Is the White House sizing up the situation or not? And then, what about six stimulus? You may hear first, second, and third on this channel. You may hear fourth, fifth, and sixth at the same time. But can one be done at the same time? It can. Meantime, what's going on with the energy shortage? And is Vladimir Putin ready to yank the pipeline that feeds one of our biggest partners? Oh, boy. It's a shocking half, second half with those big $80,000 of checks, the threat of recession, the threat of more res of inflation, all those details and more coming up at the second half. But first, if you need money for assistance, here's a little bit about the community page. As a big evening's LA from the shores of Santa Monica continues, see you back in 60 seconds as evening's LA continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA.
And the excitement continues right now from the shores of Santa Monica, California, as Evenings LA, America's most watched show in primetime, goes into the second half with those incredible $80,000 checks. Did you get them? <laughs> Are you ready to get them? Oh boy, this is exciting big money. We'll be looking at six stimulus packages as well that's happening at the same time to ease the potential of a recession. And then we'll be looking back at that SS300 and the Build Back Better Act, a lot of checks plus. The energy situation unfolding dramatically overnight and the banking industry potentially on a major crisis because of Vladimir Putin. Plus, we'll be looking back at Ukraine and Russia, the latest situation, and why you want to stay with this channel all this weekend long, because this is where Vladimir Putin is making his move. And it could be very dramatic in the next 48 hours on this channel. Then we'll be looking at what Vladimir Putin's economic threat is against America, and can he pull it off? It's a big second half. I'm excited you're here. But first, let's start with those $80,000 of stimulus checks. $80,000 of stimulus checks have gone alive, and now what do you need to know? Oh, there's a lot of it. And let's start with the map. The map indicated on this channel last week, last night caused some confusion when viewers saw it and said, oh my goodness, why am I in a pink state? That's horrible. I hate pink. <clears throat> Don't hate pink. I love pink. Let's go over the details of what's going on right now on Evenings. Last Friday, the United States government announced the launch of a fourth stimulus add-on or ancillary piece of legislation, which is law. Yes, Build Back Better Act, not law yet. This is law. It became law last Friday, and as soon as it became law, members had the details delivered in the newsletter immediately that night. Now, let's understand. This was not front page news. In fact, it wasn't even anywhere news, anywhere else. This is what I do is I get my viewers money before anyone else. So you're not going to see these checks covered. It was a buried news article and no one saw it. I'm running with it. What is it? It's the homeowner's grant. And the great news is that if you qualify for a third stimulus check, you qualify for this. Let's first go over what it is. Then we're going to go over how you get it. Then we'll go over where it is. And then we're going to go over the process of getting the money, which is brand new tonight on Evenings Allied in Prime Time. This homeowner's grant is called on this channel for stimulus ad hoc because it's at the same time as for stimulus. The only difference is Build Back Better Act, not law. This is law. How much? Fifteen dollars to $80,000 a household. Who can qualify for it? The income qualification levels are the same as third stimulus checks. So, if you've got a third, you can qualify for this as well. Single individual, $75,000 less, you can get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, double it, you can get it as well. And then, what else? If you are on benefits, you can get it additionally. Benefits is not a disqualifier. All you have to do is own a home and be in the zone of eligibility. So, if you own a home and you make seventy-five dollars less, individual or married couple, $150,000 or less, you qualify. SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, or Veterans Benefits. And this is huge sums of money. Now, who is administering the money? The money is ramped out, is, ro is ro rolled out by the federal government, but administered on a state level. It is a homeowner's grant. So in addition to being with the zone of income qualification, you have to own a home. You are a renter watching this video, don't worry, because I have rent money for you as well. It's coming up in just a second. Let me give you an overview of that rent money right now so you understand the differences, because it's confusing to some viewers. Some viewers always think that there's just one item for one subject matter. No, items always overlap on this channel. So, if you're a renter, you can get third stimulus, coming up later in this video. If you're a homeowner, you can get third stimulus and this homeowner's grant, so you can get both of the items. And if you're watching this video, yes, you can get third, fourth, and sixth stimulus coming up later in this video all at the same time. These are things that overlap. When I use a numbering system on this channel, I'm just using a number system to separate out the items so you know this is number one, number two. I can call green, blue, and purple. Do not think that because it's one to four, one goes before four. That's not how it works. It's just for me to separate them out. Let's go back into this incredible program. President of the United States announced it last Friday. I immediately rolled out to the membership of this channel in the newsletter, which goes out Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, via the YouTube alert system. 
Then I told you it was going to go live on Monday. It did go live on Monday, but tonight I want to go over a little bit more about this map and why, if you're new to this channel, this is why you have to really, really listen to the videos and be ready to pounce as a Purple Hawk. What do these colors mean? In the case of teal, California, Arizona, Texas, Florida, the color denou den denotes that the program is live, they're receiving applications, and they're currently paying out. So, for example, if you put your application in Florida today, you can get paid in Florida today as well. Not necessarily a 24-hour turnaround time, but they're not only receiving the applications, but they're also paying it. Last night on Evenings LA, some people saw this map and then suddenly freaked out, thinking, oh, I'm in a, a, a pink state. That means I don't give money. No. Let me tell you some of the comments that came in and why people got confused. They saw the map, and for example, one person sent me a message on Instagram, said, I'm in Ohio. I'm pink. I'm left out. There's never any money in Ohio. They don't care about us. There's no money in Ohio. That's not what the pink means. The pink means that they are in pre-submittal mode, meaning you get your application on file today in Ohio, pink, and they will pay you when it goes live. Now, if you've been with this channel since day one, you know how this works. If you've not been with this channel since day one, then let me tell you why this is how things work in the United States government. On day one of this channel, on April 25th, 2020, I pressed record. It was April 25th. And at that time, the pandemic unemployment assistance of, of uh, unemployment assistance for COVID had been announced by the federal government. It was law. But while I announced it on the first recording of this channel on April 25th, what did I say? I said, go apply today in California, for example, and other states like Texas and Florida, because once it goes live, you will get paid. Let me tell you what happened. And this is what's happening the same way with these $8,000 these $8, checks. You want to go get the money today to get that application on file today because you don't want to wait. Let me explain to you how this works. Let's go back to that map right now. And let's use Ohio as an example. In Ohio, you want to get that application on file today. Because while they're not paying money today, March 11th, the day that they go live with the application, they will write a check. So you don't want to wait to, let's say, for example, I'm just using an example, April 11th, when it, they start writing checks. You don't want to start applying on April 11th. You want to apply today. In the case of Ohio, they have the application accepted today. Let me give you an example of what happened on day one of this channel on April 25th. On April 25th, I told viewers, go apply right today for pandemic unemployment assistance. And guess what happened? Three days later, on April 28th, it went live in California. And the people who applied on April 25th got paid on April 28th. Yes, you apply ahead of time. You don't wait to apply after the website says, oh, well, now we're paying money. You apply as soon as the website is open and they're accepting what's called pre-submittal applications in the case of Ohio. In the case of California, for this grant, they actually are paying out right now. Javita Carranza, during the middle of the pandemic, yeah, the scarf lady, EIDL grant lady, she said she was going to reopen the grants for a particular week. She opened it on Monday. I told viewers, go apply today. Some applied on Monday, got, got paid by Tuesday. The people who applied on Tuesday got paid on Thursday. The people who applied on Wednesday never got paid. Now, I'm showing you this map, and this is why time of the essence, this is how we pounce as a purple hawk. This is not a tree in the backyard, folks. So while I'm telling you these $80,000 of checks, I can't tell you how long there'll be $80,000 of checks. So you need to pounce Purple Hawks and become a member right today. Go under that membership newsletter and become a member today and get that newsletter that features the big money in that $80,000 of checks. So what is this? This is the homeowner's grant. And it's administered by the federal government. Announced by the White House last Friday as Purple Hawks, you want to pounce and get these sums of money before anyone else. The checks are fifteen dollars to $80,000 per household, number one. Number two... The eligibility is 75,000 single individual or 150,000 or less married couple, same as a stimulus check. Number three, it covers for homeowners, so all you have to do is own a home. And number four, 
it is for items that many viewers have wanted coverage for for a long time, like association fees, utilities, home repairs, and even mortgage and property taxes. So get those incredible sums of money. It is his dollars $80,000. Boy, this is why you're a viewer of this channel. For everyone who said that forced stimulus was not going to become a law, for everyone who said that forced stimulus was never going to pay out, for everyone who said federal government doesn't care, for everyone who said my state has no money, you're all wrong. Because guess what? Here you go. fifteen to $80,000 checks in every single state live. In this second half of this video, we're also looking at the changing developing details of inflation. Yes, Jay Powell having to pivot potentially in May. But that is why you don't want him to lower inflation before, he, before Joe Biden makes that swap out. That swap out from COLA to inflation needs to happen today. And that swap out out since today, then you lock in that higher rate. No worries of what happens by December. That'll give me another $100 thereafter. But Joe Biden had a very interesting twist and turns. He had a big twist last night when they did not put his money into the continuing resolution. So what's happening with that one? This is very, very fascinating. Nancy Pelosi did not put COVID money in there for Joe Biden in the continuing resolution. So today the White House says we're coming back with another piece of legislation in less than 24 hours or less than seven days. <laughs> another CR? Yeah. While this CR funds the federal government through September, the White House is set to debut another piece of legislation this week or potentially this weekend for COVID and other sums of money. Could we have another check in there? Possibly. But the real big situation tonight is not only those $80,000 of checks, it's third stimulus, and also the big exciting details of six stimulus. Let me tell you what six stimulus is and why they are happening at the same time. You may have tuned to this channel somewhere at the start of second stimulus or third stimulus. That was because of COVID. This map is because of COVID. All because of COVID. But when we talk about six stimulus, what is it because of? It's because of Vladimir Putin. This is a recessionary play by Germany, France, and the United States, announced by the White House, announced by the economic leaders of those countries on March 8th on a series of comments, and then to this channel on March 8th. By that night, state legislators announcing that they're doing the same. What do you need to know about the six stimulus tonight that changed overnight as well? Six stimulus is Putin stimulus. It is basically to survive any economic downturn that Vladimir Putin will cause this country or our partner allies. You may look at it as sort of oil stimulus. You may look at it as oil and other stimulus, but it is this type of stimulus. It is not COVID-based stimulus. COVID is not the reason for the stimulus. Where does it start from? It started on March. It actually started last weekend when Anthony Blinken met with those ally countries saying, you need to get off of Russian oil. And they immediately said, I can't. I'm too dependent on it. I don't have a solution ready. That was Germany. Germany literally said, I'm not getting off of Russian oil because I'm too dependent on it. I don't have a solution ready. Then Germany pivoted. And what did Germany then say? Okay, morally, you're right. We will, as a German society, get off of Russian oil. And we will deal with it economically. And France will as well. And the United States as well. That set up what became the Six Stimulus Alliance of Germany, France, and the United States. The alliance is set up as follows. One, the leaders of Germany, France, and the United States are all progressives at the moment. You're watching that April date. Why? Because that was where we'll see if France reelects its very progressive Joe Biden-ish President Macron. If he does, then you have the trifecta of progressiveness France, Germany, and Joe Biden in position to do six stimulus. What is six stimulus? Six stimulus is a body of legislation which Germany and all those countries vow to debt spend, increase spending of debt domestically to provide stimulus to its citizens. The concept is very simple. One, Vladimir Putin has caused a problem. Two, we morally have to get away from Vladimir Putin. And three, our citizens have to forward the pivot away from him. The way they forward it, we get the money. And that is six stimulus. Now, this is why you watch this channel, because on March 8th, I first detailed to you to six stimulus. And by the evening of March 8th, what happened? 
state governors announced that they're doing their version of six stimulus. State governors now have said that their citizens cannot be so dependent on soaring gas prices, their state citizens will go under. So state governors have now considered other options to increase subsistence domestically so that their citizens can survive these elements across the board. At issue is At issue is the question of how they get this done. And the first issue domestically is those legislators would do state stimulus on top of the federal stimulus. But first, let's look at the federal stimulus at issue. The federal stimulus at issue is a massive spending relief. You've never seen the magnitude of this channel. Let's go over everything you need to know, starting with the oil part of the equation. The oil part of the equation is, number one, that oil prices are not sustainable. And at current levels, if they sustain through the month of May, we go into recession in 2023. Where are oil and gas prices tonight? No better than they were the night before. Oil and gas prices are both domestically and internationally high. The price of AAA nationally is now at four. Uh, the price of gasoline nationally, according to AAA, is at four dollars and thirty-three cents a barrel. A, a gallon. And then the barrel is at 205 for Brent crude. Not sustainable. And not sustainable into the month of May. And that continues. We go into recession. The problem is that the White House has not pivoted to solve the situation. And tonight, it's getting worse by the hour. Why is the situation getting worse by the hour? I'll tell you why. A new analyst report obtained by LA Today indicates that if you increase production in West Texas, it may not be the solution. Whoa, this is breaking news tonight, and I'll tell you why West Texas may not be the solution. A series of analyst reports now suggest that West Texas gasoline is not ready to go into our gas pumps. Oh boy, no one saw this part of the equation coming. What's at issue? Energy analyst Josh Rhodes in a new interview says that while we do produce a lot of oil domestically, just because we can get it out of the ground doesn't mean we can actually refine it. What's at issue? Analysts now say that West Texas gasoline is not ready to go into your gas pump. That gasoline is gasoline that would come from the coast, the Gulf Coast of Texas, which is more lower quality crude and more equates to Middle East and Russia and Canadian oil that goes into our pumps. Translation, the West Texas gasoline is not ready to replace the 3% Russian oil. The Gulf Coast tech Texas gasoline is. In a new comment, Governor Abbott out of Texas says, Texas can easily produce more gasoline. True, but where? Now we're now hearing that the West Texas gasoline may not be ready for our gas station pumps, that the gasoline in the Gulf Coast may be ready, but is there enough of it? Let's go over what's going on with the White House, true and false tonight for the gas front across the board. The issue at hand is the following, that number one, the White House has done nothing on the situation. Since in October of 2020, I told the viewership of this channel that there was 100,000 Russian troops at the Ukrainian border. Obviously, it was an issue then. At the time, I told the viewership of this channel, this would be the major economic story of 2022 if Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. I knew it. You knew it. I reported it. In fact, the White House knew the issue because the White House dispatched Treasury to do an analysis to say, what happens if Vladimir Putin invades Ukraine? What happens with oil? The report said that oil could go higher. Okay. Did the White House get a contingency plan to produce more oil ready? No. Day one of the invasion, Vladimir Putin invades Ukraine. What did Joe Biden do to ramp up production of gasoline domestically? Nothing. The White House was asked about the situation. Why did you not ramp up production? Joe Biden didn't ramp up production. Nothing. Then the Treasury Secretary's undersecretary appeared on broadcast media, asked, why are you not responding to West Texas to increase production? Answer, an unevasive. Evasive. No answer. The White House continually asked, for the first 10 days of the invasion, why aren't you ramping up production? Again, no answer. Last night, finally, after the 11 days of the invasion, the Energy Secretary under Joe Biden says we must increase production domestically. There's a problem to her quote. 
the prompter quote is that West Texas oil producers say she's saying that, but she hasn't said it to us. And we've asked for guidance from the White House, meaning that she's talking to press, but not talking to us. Takeaway, for the perspective of West Texas, they say it's all a dog and pony show by the White House, that they are not ramping up production, that they're just talking about something that hasn't happened. As the time of this recording, West Texas oil production not ramped up. At the time of this re recording, Gulf Coast production not ramped up. At the time of this recording, we don't even know if the West Texas gasoline can replace the 3% gasoline from Russia. And on another front, not a particularly good look for the White House or the Democrats. And I'm not referring to the hairstyle. I'm referring to getting off of Russian oil. It's so easy to pass a bipartisan piece of legislation to ban Russian oil. It's now what? A week since they first mentioned it and they haven't done it? 3% of our gasoline comes from Russian oil. We have a moral obligation to get off of Russian oil. Can you not pass this legislation in 10 seconds? Yes, you can. So domestically, we haven't done anything morally or economically to get off of Russian oil. We have an increased production. And then the situation is even worse tonight. Why is it worse tonight? Because the providers of gasoline to us, the corporations themselves, they're getting off of Russian oil. So they're getting off of Russian oil. And guess what? There's no alternative for them set up because the White House doesn't have this in place. When turning to the situation internationally, it's getting worse by the hour. Why is it getting worse? Because the White House has done nothing with those ally countries to increase production. Let me tell you what's happening tonight. Internationally, the threat of Vladimir Putin cutting off gasoline to our partner countries is real. Putin has said he will cut off gasoline to Germany if you push his buttons too far. Germany does not have gasoline lined up. Germany, France, our partner countries like Italy, highly dependent on that Russian oil, 40, 30 percent across the board. And you knew, I knew, the partner countries all knew that a potential evasion could happen in 2022. Did anyone have ready a Contingency plan to get some oil? No. Venezuela, the number one producer of gasoline across the globe. But why has no one in the administration gotten Venezuela to pivot and to supply the replacement to our partner allies like Germany and France because of Vladimir Putin's acts of aggression? Because a lot of people are too concerned about how things are step on something else. The U.S. Is, has major, major sanctions against Venezuela. The U.S. has major sanctions against uh, Iran. The U.S. has major sanctions against many of these oil-producing countries. But if you just sit back and count up your sanctions, then guess what happens? Germany can go under. Germany could wake up one morning and Vladimir Putin say, you know what? I don't like you anymore. You annoyed me overnight. I'm turning off your oil. Good luck. Enjoy your life. No more oil for you. And overnight, Germany would have 40% of its oil gone. What happens if 40% of Germany's oil is gone? Your oil goes through the roof. Your oil goes through the roof and you go into recession guaranteed for two years. Remember, you're at recessionary levels right now if this gas prices don't go down by May. If Vladimir Putin turns off gasoline to Germany overnight, you're definitely going to recession. And no one has set this allegiance alliance up economically whatsoever. Let's go back to last year. When Joe Biden wanted to pass the third stimulus package, he quickly got Janet Yellen to do great work. She got great work done with those partner countries to raise the global minimum corporate tax rate. You can move quickly when you want, but when you move slowly, you don't get anything done. The White House is moving very slowly on this moving to get off of Russian oil, both banning it domestically and also getting an alternative source for oil for our domestic and international partners. With no solution in place, the problem will send us into a tailspin. Tonight, good news, maybe. United Arab Emirates, its, uh, its ambassador, its, uh, it, it's, 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 its colleague to the United States, suggests it may ramp up production. May? Folks, you've seen this graphic on this channel since day one of the invasion. Yeah, it's a plane, and yes, it's a, it's a billboard, and yes, the country on the billboard is United Arab Emirates. I said day one, this was the solution. This was the solution, the country, to increase the production to our partner allies. It would alleviate all the pressure domestically, internationally. And while United Arab Emirates talked about today, let's make clear, it's talk again. It's not a commitment. 
the White House has not solidified that commitment to increase production from United Arab Emirates. And until it does, it's very troubling. We're not done there yet. The other problem is that oil is not the only issue when you talk about six stimulus. Six stimulus will be needed because guess where we are tonight? Vladimir Putin's forces are coming in from the southeast of Ukraine. And they're heading to Odessa. They're circling the Black Sea and they're trying to landlock in Ukraine to have no ability to reach the Black Sea and take the town of Odessa. More importantly, what is this doing to wheat, grain, soybeans, surging them out of control? If you're a member of this channel, it's in the membership newsletter every night across the board. Our wheat is produced domestically, but our wheat prices can surge and are surging because our partner countries are dependent upon that Ukraine wheat that is no longer available. Why? Because the farmers can't farm it. Because they're fighting Vladimir Putin's invasion in their country. And guess what? The soils are ruined not for this crop season, but next. Because no one's tending the soil for next season. And they could be ruined for years to come if bombings continue across this lush agricultural zone of the Black Sea. That is major recessionary concerns. You can solve oil, but you can't solve gasoline, but you can't serve, solve wheat overnight. In the case of gasoline, it's an easy solve. It's a tanker. It's a ship. Get the oil from this point to that point in two weeks. Done. In the case of wheat, you destroy the major producer of wheat to your partner ally countries, or you, you see Vladimir Putin destroy the partner allies' ability to produce wheat to your partner countries for years to come, your wheat prices will go up not just two weeks, a long time. And we're not done there yet. The biggest concern I have right across the board is something that Joe Biden should know. Why? Because Barack Obama and Joe Biden had to fix this on day one of the Obama-Biden administration. And what was it? The banking default of many years ago. There's a potential threat that U.S. banks could have major economic losses in Q2, Q3, or Q4 of 2022 because they had major bond and debt or equity investments in Russian bonds, securities, or banks that have still not been delineated clearly across the board. Let's go over what's happening. U.S. banks are moving out of Russia, but that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about closing offices. We're talking about the investment position. We do not know how big U.S. banks have debt or equity investments in Russia. And those investments are heading to valueless. If they become junk status, if they have no value, then the net result is major line item losses on U.S. bank Q2, Q3, or 4 returns. That impacts you domestically, because guess what? You may not bank at a big bank. You may bank at a small bank. And they all are intertwined. You cannot see the U.S. banking industry negatively impacted by Vladimir Putin. But that is a very stark reality tonight that no one has assessed the risks because no one knows how much these economic, these line item losses are for banks if junk bond status for Vladimir Putin is around the corner. How fast? Many believe that junk bond status for Vladimir Putin is just a week away. I believe it's less than two weeks away. This would send economic turmoil in a way that is far bigger than oil, far bigger than wheat, and far bigger than anything we've seen. It would send markets into a downturn dramatically if we learned that U.S. banks have massive exposure to then valueless investments in Russia. And while we can fix gasoline, maybe we can't fix all these. We would need a major six stimulus package. And remember, what was day one of the Obama-Biden administration to come in and save the banks from going under? And we could be literally on the cusp of seeing that once again in just a few weeks. This is why it's a very fluid situation. Now, let's turn to some more money for you. And <laughs> that more money is a third stimulus. The great news is that third stimulus is still paying out. 
And if you're a renter, you get it. If you're a homeowner, you can get it. And let's go over the details starting right now. You want to reach out to your city hall, your city house authority, and your county hall and get these incredible sums of money. Rely on those nonprofits to get those monies as well. The average pay of this channel is about $45,000. Get the money right now. Don't wait. The nonprofits really pick up the slack. Viewership of this channel has gotten new success stories overnight. The success stories come on in daily. What happened? First, let's recap where you reach out to get this money. Your city hall, your city house authority, your county hall, and your county house authority. And the keywords you say are rent assistance because of COVID, mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. Success stories keep on coming in. Melly Penn, who watched Evenings Allied this week, got $9,000 from watching the show in prime time. Carol Moore got $4,000 for rent, $1,100 for utilities from watching this channel, this show in prime time. And David Allen got $10,000 for this this week for rent from watching the show across the board. That is rent, mortgage, repairs, and more. It's all available and it's all heating up. Go get those sums of money. Tonight, the situation is very fluid overseas internationally for Vladimir Putin. The situation is that he's really trying to circle and take uh, Odessa. And what you need to know is that if you hear the key words, cease fire, do not make an economic or financial move unless you know what the cease fire means. Cease fire is being used sometimes to refer to evacuation court is open for one or two hours. It does not mean the war is over. The latest analysis suggests that the war could go on for months and the war is not creating any better economic situation at all. What do you need to know? What you need to know is that CR is that the SS300 watching that major developing details of what j Powell does at the April FOMC meeting. For now, we know what's happening in March. Number two. $80,000 of checks now live under that incredible force stimulus, re that force stimulus add-on. You don't want to wait. You want to apply today. Time is of the essence. Remember, if the portal is open, like in the case of Ohio, they're taking the application today, and then when they are ready to pay, they start to pay. In the case of California, they're taking and they're paying at the same time. Payment everywhere, money everywhere, every state. Then, Build Back Better Act still happening. Big checks with the ability to get upwards of fifteen to eighty thousand dollars. It would not replace. It would supplement all the other checks covered in tonight's recording. And then the exciting details of six stimulus. Very very fluid, but you would hope that the White House understands its importance to move quickly. The situation is very very troubling as we have oil, gas, oil. Wheat, soybeans, grain, nickel, all being impacted by Vladimir Putin. And his impact humanitarian on the humanitarian crisis, very much real. His impact on the banking industry, still not known. His impact on those partner countries could change overnight. If he turns off someone's oil at a spur of the moment. A very fluid situation across the board. We'll have more about tomorrow morning on Mornings LA with the latest breaking financial news as it happened. But for the shores of Santa Monica, California, to the shores of the Black Sea, we send our prayers to the families of Ukraine. Tonight is a brand new evening's strain and stimulus. I stand with Ukraine edition. We'll have the latest details on what the White House is doing and isn't doing. More of that economic analysis that you want and more about your money. It's tonight at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But as always, join me nightly as the number one show in primetime returns. It's evenings at 5 o'clock West Coast, 8 o'clock East Coast, and 9 o'clock Central. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Allied for more.